What's going on guys, Flick here, and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode Player Reviews. The player that we'll be reviewing in today's episode is Antonio Sanabria, and the main reason I wanted to take a look at him is because he far exceeded his SoFIFA potential of 86. He, of course, did hit the potential of 91 in our career mode, so I wanted to take a look at him. If you guys do go on to enjoy this episode and want to see the series more often, make sure you guys leave a like down below and subscribe if you are new around here. But let's get into the review. At the start of career mode, Sanabria is a 75 rated player with an exciting prospect status. His value is only 4.7 million, and you actually can't pick him up at the start of career mode because he is on loan at Sporting Gijon from AS Roma, but once he returns to Roma in the summer of 2016, he can pick him up for roughly 32 million. At least that's the inquired price from Roma because he is a pretty big talent, so you're gonna have to pay a good amount of money for him. Take a look at his player information now. He is five foot 11 as a striker, does have medium, medium work rates, right footed, four star weak foot, and three star skill moves on him. No traits and no specialties at the start of career mode. Uh, but we'll take a look at his stats and pretty balanced across the board in the physical attributes. A nice combination of pace and strength as well as stamina, especially for these younger players. Sometimes you run into the player not having enough stamina. That's not the case for Sanabria. His ball control and dribbling is also excellent for a 75 rated player. 81 ball control and 76 dribbling and his finishing is top class at 80. Let's jump into the goals and highlights and I'll talk a little bit more about his pros and cons. All right, hopping right into the clips. We're going to be starting things off with a cheeky little penalty. He's going to chip it right down the middle, goes off the top of the crossbar and into the back of the net. And our first major pro to be talking about for this guy is going to be his pace. And in career mode with 96 acceleration and 95 sprint speed. That's what you want to see for a striker. So you can play him alone up top. He's got enough pace to do so, but you can also play him as a partner because his passing is not too bad. Wouldn't consider it a pro, but moving on, we're going to move on to his dribbling. 98 ball control and 96 dribbling is what he's going to hit at his peak rating. His shooting also fantastic. You guys know he had good finishing at the start of career mode, and that was very much the case by the end of career mode. Ending with 98 finishing and 87 long shots. So definitely go ahead and have some shots from outside the box with this guy because he can get them on target, and occasionally you're going to get yourself a pretty nice goal. The final pro to be talking about is going to be his strength and heading accuracy. 86 strength and 89 heading accuracy means he's a pretty good threat inside the box. So if you do want to send in some crosses, I would definitely have a go with this guy. He's got the strength to hold off the defender. He's got the heading accuracy. So if he does get his head on it, it's probably going to be on target. Couple of cons to consider are his skill moves at three star and the curve at 71. So I wouldn't really go with those finesse shots from outside the box. Definitely go with the power shots. I had a lot more luck with that. And don't pull off too many fancy skills with, that. with this guy. You can pull off the basic roulettes, the rollovers. But honestly, in FIFA 16, I don't think you need the fancy skills. You can get stuff done with the basic skill moves. By the time he hits 30 years old, Sanabria reaches a 91 overall rating and a value of 51.5 million. If you guys have had experience using this guy in the most recent update or the most recent patch of players, then go ahead and comment down below because I'm curious if he reached a similar rating for you guys. I expected him to be about 86 rated, but he just kept on growing and he might just be one of those players that, depending on the save, he's going to exceed his potential. But moving on to his specialties, he picks up a plethora of specialties. The poacher, speedster, dribbler, distant shooter, acrobat, clinical finisher, and complete forward specialties. And moving on to the stats, they are just incredible. Completely dark green in the physical stats, which I don't think I've seen thus far in FIFA 16. So that is just awesome to see. And then the technical side, he's got the ball control, he's got the dribbling, the finishing, basically the stats that you're looking for as a striker. Couple of things bring him down, the, the curve is a little bit low, the skill moves, I'd wish it was four stars, otherwise I think I would give this guy the complete 10 out of 10 rating. But talking about the rating, I'm going to end up giving him a 9.7, docking him down for the three star skills, and I really wish he did have higher curve because I like to use finesse shots, especially in FIFA 16. So I'd like to see that a little bit higher. But guys, that's going to bring an end to today's review. Hope you have enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to leave a like rating down below. Subscribe if you are new around here. Until next time, this has been Flick. I'll be talking to you guys again soon.